I want to yeah. bring in uh, Grant Harold, who's a former Royal Butler. You yeah. may well have seen him on Channel 4. Grant, uh, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Nice, nice to talk to you. Can I ask, are you wearing a tie today? I, I'm not. No, actually, <gasps> I'm, not. I'm, actually, I'm actually on holiday, so I'm having a, I'm having a week off of the suits. <laughs> OK, so I, I, I'm, I'm talking to a former Royal Butler who isn't wearing a tie. Is it ever acceptable, Grant, for, to wear an open neck shirt? You know, a lot of younger people tend to do that, including myself, but it depends what, what it is you're at, what the event is, uh, because obviously you've got to kind of comply with dress codes and things. So it, it depends what, what you're actually attending. It was interesting. I spoke to somebody earlier this morning who is from the Western Lifeboat and they met the, the Duke of Kent and he wore yeah. a tie. Now, as, as I pointed out, Duke, the highest rank of aristocracy. Mm. Would the Duke of Kent expect you to wear a tie? Well, again, it depends what the, the event is. I mean, with members of the royal family, they're all always quite smart, you know, depending, again, on what they're attending. I mean, Prince Harry was at an event last week, and he was in a more casual kind of form. But, again, that was for the, the, the event he was at. It was that, that, that was the dress code, mm. where there's other events he'll go to, and he'll be in and he, he's, he's full kind of either suit or, or, or even his uniform. So let's talk about, the, for example, the Queen. If, if you were to have an audience with the Queen, if let's say you were to go to, I don't know, yeah. a, a garden party, would you be allowed in if you were dressed like that sort of... Um, he's, he's very much in the news, but it's also he's always in the news for the point of view of how he dresses. A pair of jeans and a jacket as a chap, sort of like a la Jeremy Clarkson. No, I, I think you'll be turned. I think you'll be turned away. Uh, no, for you know, for something like at the palace, you'd be wanting to wear a, a morning dress. Um, you know, you, you want a morning suit. You wouldn't mm. want to turn up in a pair of jeans and a T-shirt. Uh, but again, you could go to the, the website, the British Monarchy website, and they actually tell you what the dress code is for those kind of events. Now, that's interesting, Hugh, isn't it? Because Grant there, who is yeah. a former royal butler, yeah. uh, has been doing a lot of, lot of work on television sure. about this. There are rules, but I wonder whether the rules apply to the likes of you well, and me, well, Hugh. Well, the, the obvious phrase is time and place. You dress yeah. for the time and you dress for the place. Uh, I think that ties add gravitas, and we need a bit more gravitas in, in life, and not so much street cred and low-rise drop crotch jeans that I gather have been popularised by uh, all these gangster rap uh, characters. It's, it's, I, Hugh, it's really odd hearing those words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, Grant, well, Grant. I, I read an article about gangster rap. Well, there is, and, and, and you're, making a, Hugh, you're making a very good point. Grant, let me, let me ask you, uh, you, you, obviously, I know you advise people on etiquette and manners and dress. Is it that it's all become a little bit too fluid that that's why people are so confused? I mean, I, I agree with Hugh. I think that the thing is, you know, there's a time and place for what, what you wear. And, I mean, the younger generation, they tend to kind of not wear what's kind of asked for them because they'll, they'll go to events or things and they wear what they want. But I'm trying to encourage youngsters to actually... You know, look at, you know, if you're going somewhere, think about where you're going and, and what you wear. And again, as you said, I mean, I, I love ties and I've actually started wearing tie pins again, which have, you know, started to come back into fashion, uh, thankfully. Hugh in Westbury on trim, Grant Harold, former just, Royal, but I've got, I've, I'm I, sorry, I've got to move on. I've, I do apologise, but I have to move on to the right, next I item. Thank you very much indeed. Hugh in Westbury on trim and Grant Harold, former Royal Butler. Many thanks for your time this morning. Mother's Day on BBC Radio Bristol.